Welcome back to our buzzing Santon Convention Center. Uh, this, I would imagine, one could call the heart of the business district in South Africa. Uh, some have gone as far as to say the heart of the business district in Africa. Well, well, I'll tell you what, for the next couple of days, it certainly is. This is where Meetings Africa is taking place. All of the role players in the meetings industry are gathering here. They're setting up their stands. They're getting ready for business. It opens today and everybody's very, very excitement, excited. I mean, we arrived when nobody was here, but I can tell you, something everybody is arriving fast and furiously to sell their product to those that are coming to have a look well the place that's hosting it is the Santon Convention Center Convention Center has seen so many events and uh, I think that they're at the heart of all of it so the right person to speak to about what our eventing world is like is Martin Nyazema who of course is uh, from the Santa Convention Center and the executive director here so nice to see you again good morning and welcome back ah, it's a pleasure it really is a pleasure it's, a, it's it's always nice to have a, 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 a comparison. So I'm seeing what's happened last year, the year before, the year before, and here we are this year. And it does look a lot bigger. Yes, it is. Um, it's really been growing every year and we're getting more and more exhibitors. Obviously, it's been fantastic since the South African National Convention Bureau came on board because now our industry is really structured properly. So we, you know, when we go to shows like IMAX, America IMAX, um, Las Vegas and IBTM in Barcelona, what they're doing there is exactly what we're doing here now. So this has really become the home of African, uh, African business meetings and it's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but we're talking about a very bad economy and not only local Locally, but globally as well and the first budgets to be cut is that of eventing um, what has it done for you have you noticed that there has been there's been a, a, a drop and a cut in the kind of events that are taking place yes and no um, I think in terms of some of the short-term events we did notice a sort of um, short uh, some of the um, special financial services they cut back on the size of event that they were going to hold so they're still going ahead but they've definitely cut back in terms of what they're going to do but you know in our business we're lucky that we already have a number of events scheduled for the whole year and those are definitely going ahead um, the clients are telling us no 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 we're going ahead because it's important uh, in our business because obviously there's long-term investment that they've made so it's about uh, carrying on with the business doing whatever they need to do so we've got a number of shall I tell you the number of events that we've got lined up oh, I would <laughs> love to hear I'd love to. Uh, uh, one of the big events is the Arno classic yes. which is going to happen in May and it's a whole exhibition for about a week and the whole building talking about sports and lifestyle and healthy lifestyles is fantastic. Arnold Schwarzenegger himself is going to be here. Yes. Um, in October, we've got COP17, so United Nations, talking about animal species, extinction, and, you know, just caring about the environment. So those are some of the big highlights we've got. June, uh, June July, an 80-day event, which is our biggest ever. It just say spaceway to, um, gateway to space. And it's a family show, and it's all about moon rocks and how to get to space, etc. I believe it's really fantastic for adults and for for young people as yeah, well. Yeah. well. I mean, that's a fact. It's one of those things where you know you're going to bring your kids to come and see that. I mean, your kids can see and touch a real moon rock. That's what you want to do. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger coming to South Africa. These are, But what I'm noticing is what you're telling me is it's a lot of international events that are coming here. Yes. They're hiring out yes. the convention. Yes. So this currency is working for you? Um, well, Yes, but remember some of these events we already tied them up three years ago, four years ago, because that's the nature of our business. Even when we're here at Meetings Africa, we're actually tying up events up to 2022. Um, so we already have invested long term because that's the nature of the business. What we are getting, yes, are what we call mega events, where they take over the whole building, you're talking about seven to ten days, and that's the type of business a convention center is supposed to hold. The smaller meetings, your one day, your 500 and less, those are supposed to be feelers really, and also going to these smaller venues like you know we, like we've got the Sokosan uh, convention conferences conference venues in the hotels so that's where we'd like to take some of the smaller business and we keep the mega events because that's what we are really built for yeah I mean, you were telling me that last year was your busiest year to date in fact I mean you talk about the smaller convention centers you were pushing work in those directions because yes. you just couldn't accommodate yes we obviously had the African Union summit in June that yeah. was fantastic at the end of the year we had Afri cities and then we had the China Africa for Forum. And the other, the two African Union Summit in China, Africa, those were not scheduled, you know, at the beginning of the year. So they came in during the year, and we had to fit them in. And that always does well for our business, because then you have to now try and 
accommodate everybody and then it fills up but it was an, a bumper year for us it was fantastic congratulations i hope this year is exactly the same well we've got arnold schwarzenegger coming to south africa hiring this whole place out showing you the uh, fitness world and everything it has to offer you've also got space coming to the convention center that i'm looking forward to i know i'm going to bring my kids to that one and a lot lot more taking place here so those are just some of the exciting events taking place and also uh, just uh, looking at some of the meetings as well that uh, south africans are having thank you for talking to us it's always a pleasure having you here on the program uh, martin uh, nyazema who is uh, the executive director of the santon convention center let's take a break see you after this Thank you.